Hello, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a Math Sound Manders walkthrough video, this time on converting mixed decimals to fractions one. A couple things we need to know before we get started. Number one, we have a sample problem here, so we can kind of reference this to know how to do it. That's why I love these worksheets. They have this little example for you that really kind of clear up what we're supposed to be doing. And two, the main thing we need to understand is how do we say this number and just understanding the place values will really help us with the fractions. Let me explain. So how do you say this number? This number is 2 in 6 tenths. That's how you properly say it. Anytime you see a decimal, that means and. And then we have 6 tenths. Now, place values here, if we have like 2.61, for example, that would be the tenths. And then we'd have the hundredths place. That's the second place value, hundredths. Okay, the TH means after the decimal place. So we have two and six tenths, and uh, that's how you say it, and that's how you write it as a fraction. That's what I'm saying. Understanding how to say it leads us to the fraction. Why does that work? Well, the two means we have two holes out in the front. The six, that's that six, and then it's out of ten. Okay, that's the tenths place, so it's out of ten, two and six tenths. And then to convert it into an improper fraction, we just need to multiply the uh, denominator by the whole number out in front and then add it to the numerator. So 10 times 2 would give us 20, and then we just add that to the top, and we get 26 in the numerator. Let's move on to number 2, uh, just so we can see how to do this. So how do you say this number? This number is said 1 and, that's decimal, 3 tenths. I'm just going to go ahead and write that, 1, 3 tenths. Simple as that. What do I do next? Well, I need to multiply. Let me get my highlighter again. I'm going to change color. So we have the 10 and the 1. Those need to be multiplied together. So I have 1 times 10 in the top, but I also have that 3 that's already there. So I need to add that 3, and then this needs to remain over 10. So then, what's the result? Well, I have 1 times 10 is just 10. Then I add that to 3, and that's 13 over 10. That's my improper fraction. That is equivalent. All three of these are equal. That's why they're, there's that equal sign right there. All three of these are equal, okay? And that's the process. We're just going to keep going like that. So this one would be 3 and 1 tenth because it's only one decimal place. I multiply 10 times 3, and then I add the number that's already in the numerator, and that's going to be over 10. That is equal to 31 over 10, just like that. This one, there's a zero there. You can still put the zero. It's not going to make a difference, but you can put the zero. And then we have nine tenths here. <laughs> you could do the ten times the zero and add the nine, but really just kind of wasting your time. It's just going to be nine tenths for the improper fraction, which is actually just a normal fraction. Okay. Uh, let's go to number six. We're going to skip five. Number six, a little bit different. Okay. We still have that zero in front, the whole number, but this time we have two digits here. Okay. This uh, four, as I suggested earlier, is not in the tenths place, it's in the hundredths place. So, how does this change our fraction? Well, we're going to write this fraction a little differently. We're going to write the whole number, 34. Instead of over 10, because it's in the hundredths place, we're going to put it out of 100. So, same process, multiply the 100 times the 0 out in front. Like, it's just 0. It's not going to change the value, so it's going to stay 34 out of 100. But when we get to some of these other ones, then we can actually do a little bit more work, okay? So this one, again, it's in 100's place because we go to two decimal places. So we have 1, and then we have 58 over 100. So we're going to multiply the 1 times the 100 and then add that 58 and put that all over 100. Running out a little space here. Let me move this over. All right, so then we have 100 times 1 is just 100 plus 58, 158 out of 100. And for this worksheet, I don't believe you are simplifying, okay? So you can just leave it like that. This is like an intro to these types of fractions. So that's all you need is just to put the fraction form of that decimal. And really, that's the whole process for this worksheet. So if you want to jump over to the second column, we have some mixed ones with two digits and one digit. I'm going to go to blue now. So we had this one. We have 2 and 34 out of 100. I hope you're picking up the pattern here. Then I multiply the 100 times the 2. That's 200. 
and then we have that 34 that we need to add and that gives us 234 out of 100. If you were to do this division by the way 234 divided by 100 you would get this number 2.34 okay that's why it's an equivalent fraction everything is related let's go ahead and go to this one let's just do a couple more we have 1 and 29 over 100 we get 100 plus 29 in the top over 100 that's our fraction denominator 129 out of 100 is our answer there uh, this one what about this 9 okay so we have 1 and then we have 09 over 100 well you don't need that 0 in front of that 9 so we're just gonna leave it as the 9 and then we just do the same process okay we're gonna have 100 plus 9 out of 100 that gives us 109 over 100 okay and again how you say it relates to how you write it so this would be said as 1 and 9 one hundredths and that's exactly what we write one in nine one hundredths and then we just convert it to an improper fraction let's do one more just for fun as I finish this last one just know that I have a whole playlist for math salamanders worksheet so if you want to check out more of those or have any other math help you can leave a comment even get some additional help on a specific topic that you have in mind and yeah math salamanders great place to be has lots of great worksheets here Make sure to check out my channel for more of these worksheets. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.